Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you the greatest thing your eyes have ever beheld. He was a king in the world he knew, but he comes to you now a captain. Ladies and gentlemen, It begins. Final sequence time. If you still don't know what happens, then wow, I don't know what to say. But yeah, for those of you who have not played this game or have even seen any of the movies, I won't spoil it for you. I mean, you know, there's there's another generation of people out there, you know, there's new kids, they haven't really seen this. I mean, some of them. At least not the classic King Kong, the one that, uh, that my generation definitely grew up with. Um, yeah. Oh well, whatever. I'll save that for another video. But um, basically, what you want to do is standard moves to work. Um, X to attack. Um, circle to grab. You can actually grab the planes out of the air. And basically what you want to do is uh, move around so that you're kind of out of, uh, out of the line of fire. But um, this whole sequence is inevitable. No matter what you do, this is going to happen. You're still going to get shot a few times. Now, check it out. Get you up. Got you. Come on. This kind of sucks, man. Because I'd like to be able to, like, bounce, like, jump, and then, like, crash onto them and then, like, springboard back on top of the building. It would have been cool, but oh well. But this is like, I mean, this is iconic imagery. Listen to the dramatic aria. This is actually, I think this is the last time that we ever get to hear it too. So, uh, enjoy it now. Help! That was cool. He went out like a G. That's awesome. He took out a plane before falling himself. He can still survive. He can grab on. Uh, here we go. Final sequence. Just to um, show you what happened. In the streets. I like the fact that Jack Black got to say that line. The iconic line. And sadly, with the death of Kong, that's the end of the game. And so, 
we draw to a close the tale of King Kong. Credits. Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie, brought to you by, published by Ubisoft. All right, so I want to thank you guys for actually watching and sticking with me, even though I was gone for two months um, due to class. Um, <laughs> it's amazing that I actually managed to come back and sit down and in one evening actually record the rest of the game. So that was cool. And check out all of these people that worked on this game. Everybody did an awesome job on this game. The only thing that really upset me is the fact that, like I said, it gets really, really dim and dark and you can't see. And you still have to keep fighting and you can probably die. And then, oh, core AI programmers. Oh, man, you guys... I hope that they learned from this game. I mean, there was some, most of the time the characters and the and the enemies did what they needed to do. Oh, Philip Boy, and you, you gotta give her some credit. I mean, uh, Peter Jackson's right hand. Yeah, you, let me just go on ahead and close out. Um, I want to give thanks to. Peter Jackson, I said Philip Boyens, the people at Ubisoft for actually making this game. I want to thank Universal Studios for actually allowing Peter Jackson to go on ahead and make the film. Awesome movie. Um, the voice talent for this game, you guys made just more more realistic more organic rather than we're just sitting here and I mean this game would have been like so dull if there was no no dialogue uh, in the, the orchestra huh this is some of the best um, Pro Tool sound engineer oh ho, ho. I didn't catch that the last time cool awesome man but yeah this was handled very well very nice oh yeah that's cool they even got the cast to actually do voiceover for this sounded like it that is nice And of course there's also French and Spanish credits, German credits apparently. Um, why? Because there are multiple um, multiple versions of this game, naturally. And of course all of the all of the credits have to be featured in one sequence. This game was a challenge to do without cheating again. <laughs> Even with cheats, this game is actually still a bit of a challenge because it'll actually bug out on you. Which is weird. Oh, there's the Aria again. Cool. So, this was pretty interesting to, to be my first Let's Play. I wasn't sure of what I wanted to do first, but um, I figured, you know, let me try this. Final Cut. Um, would that happen to be Final Cut Pro, or, or do you just mean like the Final Cut, like on the cutting room floor? I'm tripping out. Um, this engineering stuff is is messing with me. Wow. Um, I would actually just be quiet because I don't really have much else to say other than thanks. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for putting up with my subpar commentary from for the most part. And I'm glad that I have a new setup so that now Let's Plays will be a bit more 
smooth and um, cohesive. Um, I'll be trying to um, tweak my techniques and and get like different kinds of transitions in and the memory thing, the flashback, that was a good idea and I'm probably going to implement that um, for another Let's Play. Maybe, maybe not. Um, this is probably not the only first person shooter that I'm going to do. Um, I was going to do Medal of Honor Vanguard, but um, I had a few issues and so um, I decided to shelve that LP. I'm keeping the other ones under wraps. Um, well, actually I'm not because I mentioned them in another video that I've yet to upload. But I will actually upload some co-op stuff with uh, my sister. Um, and they'll probably like, uh, they'll probably hold you guys over some so I can get an idea of just what I want to do. I've got four games lined up uh, in a kind of series. Well, one's a standalone, the other three um, I'm probably going to try and take care of. Man, of course there's a, a bunch of credits. <laughs> that sounds like a big giant run on since. Yeah, you can't forget about Wayne Nut Films. And here's their special thanks. Yeah, Weather Workshop. Oh, definitely. These people, wow, the, the creature design, the creature effects, amazing, very paranoia inducing, wow, I'm slurring right now, but I wonder, could this have actually gone different? Could there have been another way that we could have resolved all this? Got a little congratulatory message, and I'm saving for the so posed final time. Complete all the extras to save Kong. Yeah, now I just might actually show you guys the um, the alternate ending, which is what you need the 250,000 uh, score for. But um, that's kind of a bit of a pain. But thank you guys, and I'll see you all next Let's Play.